So that's our tow truck driver over there. He said, I'm not towing this and literally drove off. <laughs> Update, my friend Kelvin is coming. <laughs> Poor guy, I call him for everything. But he's coming to help us and rescue us. If you did not know, now when you call AAA when your car breaks down because of COVID, they don't take you in the tow truck anymore. So you have to pretty much find your own ride. I think they're offering you like a free lift or something like that. I don't really want to go in a lift. And as soon as I told him, he was like, I'm on my way. Jim is here too. Can you see him? You can't even no. see him. We're cold. And the worst part is that I got stuck in front of this driveway. Luckily, no one has really come out of it because I don't want anybody to yell at me because it's a bougie neighborhood, so I'm not trying to get in trouble. It'd be a dead It did sound like, like that one time axle. when uh, you had mismatched axles. It's freezing and we're hungry, which is the worst part. We were gonna go to In N Out after this. We're gonna have to buy Kevin a burrito. And have like a double, du maybe a three by three. This like, deserves a three by three. I think this deserves a three by three. Okay, there's someone. They probably live here. They didn't say anything. What's going on here? I know. Wait, they're kind of reversing all the way back here. I'm recording just in case they say something. I think they just want to park there and be nosy. Damn it. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. The tow truck is here. Yay! Hi. Let's not tell the white super light. What's not covered? What's not covered? Do you want to tell something? Perfect engagement. Yeah. Perfect engagement. Are you not going to talk to us? Are you going to pretend we're not here? send it to my dispatch. I don't know why my camera stopped recording. I wish it hadn't so I could have kept more footage of what happened. After that, he walked away, didn't answer any of our questions as soon as he said that. So I told him that he could just leave and I'm pretty sure he heard us calling AAA for another driver. After this, the man just sat in his tow truck for about 10 minutes before he pulled away without saying anything. Maybe he's seen my TikToks and he's not a fan. I'm not sure. But hopefully nobody treats his daughter, his wife, or anybody he knows the way he treated us because it just wasn't nice. I know that with the current situation, everyone seems to be going through something which doesn't give him an excuse, but I do hope that his night got better because he certainly did not ruin mine. So that's our tow truck driver over there. The guy was just like not in a good mood and I guess didn't want to talk to us at all. The minute he pulled up five laps around my car, recorded it and was just taking pictures. And we were like, hello, hi, hello. Didn't say anything. And he said, I'm not towing it. And we were like, wait, why? What's wrong with my car? Why can't you tow it? Drove off. The man drove off. Yay, Kelvin just got here. Like, yeah, you know me, dude. I'm pretty nice. We're I'm like, pretty nice. We're like, hi, yeah. sir. I was like, hey, hey how's it like, going? Hey. Nothing. 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 Didn't dude. even acknowledge us. Yeah. yeah, it was. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna say diff. No. Differential. No. The drive shaft spinning. All right, so let's uh, troubleshoot this. How are you gonna fix this? Second one. Eight, six, five, two. Just for your security. Okay. And Thank you. Know who you are, and if anybody bothers you, and that you guys are safe, because I am security. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Take care. You. And uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have dreams come true. Thank Make you. a wish and. Uh, you're ready. Thank you, you too. Have a good one. God Bye. Bless God bless you too. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome, you guys. Security, you guys are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting 
on the next AAA. We'll see if they come. Stephanie, do you want to know what happened to our car? Yeah. Tell them, right tell them what happened. Tell them what happened. <laughs> Hey, tow truck number two. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to push the car back a little bit so the lip can come out. Maybe. You should have taken this off consciously. Dude, I like, I put this on there so I wouldn't, I wouldn't fall. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm about to pull off the axle and I'm kind of nervous. This is the side that wasn't spinning. Pretty sure it's not gonna look good in there. Oh my, the whole end broke off. I have to take off the dip because we know that's the only place the other side to that wind too. Do you see that mount that's missing? <sighs> that's going to be fun. any big chunks in there and the plug I would think it would have more shavings than that I'm hoping it broke off in just one big chunk There's a piece. Wow. I've never seen that. I was talking to Kelvin and he said to take it over his house. He said that he was gonna weld like a rod inside and try to pull it out that way. And I don't wanna disassemble it because like it's all torqued down to spec and I just don't wanna mess with that. I told him that I would try to weld it myself. I'm going to add like tack welds around it like that from the inside. But first things first, it's already getting dark, so I'm going to pick up my mask. I feel like all I need is two solid tack welds. Now, I already tried cleaning it as much as possible. I don't know. So I'm having a hard time trying to weld the bolt onto there. Jim just got here and he thinks that that's the other side to the axle. I wasn't 100% sure. Yes, it does look like the tip of the axle with that dip there, but I was scared to hit it because I'm not sure. So I'm gonna attempt to do it with this punch and a hammer, and we shall see. I think it's moving. Oh my God, I think it's moving. Hold on. What the fudge, man? I've been struggling with this. Oh, oh, it's coming out. 
right, let's see. Oh my God, here I am struggling, trying to weld something on there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even try that because I wasn't sure if that was the other side to the axle. It just didn't seem like that was the other end from the inside. Wow. I wish I would have tried that earlier. <laughs> on a welded diff, I wouldn't have been able to hammer it out because there's that piece that goes across, so you're not able to touch the other side. The method of welding a bolt on there to yank it out would have probably been the only solution unless I disassembled the whole differential. But on mine, as you saw, it was just easy as just hammering it out and i could have done that from the beginning but i didn't but you live and you learn and this is how i get better for next time and this is how you gain experience so i'm happy it's out now now i just have to source out some axles and we'll be back on the road